Welcome to the June Video Hop Makers Creative Collab put together by PM Artist Studio. There is a group of creatives that get together on a monthly basis and we interpret a theme that was given to us. This month that theme was Create and Collect. And as I reflected on this theme, thinking about what I wanted to do, I took a look at my hoard, if you will, of magazines that contain recipes and recipes that I've pulled from magazines and put into file folders. And I decided it was a good opportunity for me to take my hoard and turn it into a collection by making it usable. My name is Peg and I call my channel Two Old Crows Mix Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe to my channel as you participate in this video hop. Give me a like. Give us all a like. There are a bunch of us that work very hard on a monthly basis to put this content together for your enjoyment. So let's get started. Here is some of the recipes that I've chosen that I am going to be creating a recipe collection book for. I am utilizing a composition book. They are easy to get your hands on, inexpensive, and make a good substrate. I want to put a book plate on this recipe collection. So I have chosen a piece of aluminum. And it is just an aluminum that comes in a rolled form. You can purchase it at one of the big box stores. I think I paid $5.99 for that entire roll of aluminum. So I have my recipes together. I have my aluminum together. I have my composition book ready to go. And here is exactly, this is not the process video. This is going to be a flip through of what I created. The process video will be uploaded tomorrow or later this evening. So this is how that turned out. This is the front cover of my recipe collection. I used a rice paper and printed that on my gel press in that light blue color and went over it with my gold pen to just do some asymmetric writing. I wrote recipe and different thoughts about recipes across the front of the booklet. And that is the aluminum book plate I made by embossing it with an embossing folder, coloring it with alcohol inks, and then going over the top of it with a foundry wax. I also created dividers for the book, and I created those utilizing cardstock, and I also decorated those utilizing my jewel, not jewel press, gel press, and I added tags and sari silk and a little gold ribbon to each of those dividers. So I divided it up with appetizers, main, sides, salads, and desserts. And there's a lot of other things that I'd like to put inside here, but this book is only so big. So there was 100 pages in the book. I divided it into sections of 20. I put an inside pocket on the front cover to kind of store the recipes as I get ready to put them in. And on my gel press, I printed that cardstock, and this is the first divider for appetizers. This is the front inside cover, the appetizer divider. And I chose to stick with this blue and purple theme. So as you turn through the book, you can see you have lots of places to glue those magazine down, down magazine recipes down. And our next section is main dishes. And I have started to put things in, and I am just kind of art journaling them in, if you will. So I'm creating a background out of the blues and pinks that I chose to use. Of course, highlighting with black. I have utilized some texture paste as well to make some definition on the page. And I am simply gluing the recipe in and drawing around it with my gold pen to kind of define its placement on the page. This is the first section I started to decorate, which was the main dishes. I seem to have a lot of recipes in that category. 
And these are just a few close-ups of how those pages actually present themselves. And as we move through the book, I will continue to kind of put it together as I have time. It will be one of my side projects, and I'll likely use it in my shop to occupy myself during drying time for other projects I'm working on. So the next section is the sides. And once again, I counted 20 pages and put it together. And I will put the recipes in as, as time allows. The fourth is salads. And again, you know, we're just kind of flipping through the book here. There's really nothing in yet. I did show you my intention for decorating. And finally, you have desserts. Have a few of those in there. Of course, no one can can end their day without a dessert of sort. And in the back of the book is a pocket to, once again, hold any of the loose recipes that I have. And that finalizes this book. And the back of it is decorated very similar to the front. You can see the dividers here on the side with the sari silk and the tags. And it is going to be a fun project for me to work on. Hopefully, I will try some of these recipes. It seems that I have gathered them for years, but never really get it together to get them into the kitchen. So this will be um, encouragement for me to use some of those recipes. I do encourage you to pick up some of this aluminum. It is so easy to use. And once again, this is how that book started, as a composition book and just a random piece of aluminum that I utilized to create that book plate. And I don't know how you feel, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I hope you like it too. The next video for the hop will be right here on my end screen. And I hope you will just continue through and give us each a like, some comments, subscribe to our channels. We really appreciate you being here. And I shall say bye for now. And off you go to the next creator.